Which flag is this? Dutch. Oh, nice! Mensen, welkom. We zijn er weer. We're here with the one and only Miss Emily Black. Woo! <laughs> nice job on the operation. Can I tell about the operation? Yeah, I had great big put in. Oi, oi, oi. Yeah, but it's just, um, yeah, congratulations. Thanks, it's, it's a good luck. It's isn't it? really, it's a. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit warm in here. So he had to say to me earlier, he was like, he's like, Emily, I have to be honest with you. I'm struggling to make eye contact now. <laughs> <laughs> I did say that. All I can look at is your big humongous I, I'm trying, I'm trying. Dear people, welcome back. We're here and we're going to an integration course quiz with the one and only Miss Emily Black. How are you? I'm good, how yes. are you? I'm a little bit distracted about multiple things because also what I put in your box, and I mean not the, the box, but I mean <laughs> the box, the, the box with the cookies. We all had some cookies and someone's tolerance with anything, including alcohol, any kind of drug. So I'm absolutely fine and he's wandering around like, oh. Yes, nice time. Emily is in the Netherlands for a couple of days. And today is our first day together. Tomorrow, we also have studio recordings with some nice people. You're gonna pick your most favorite Dutch province. Oh, and there's always some State. fun people that come. Yeah, some yeah. strange people will come, basically. Also, we're going clubbing. Yes. I gave up drinking the last time we went clubbing. That's Was that the last time you went? Yeah, that was ah, the last time I went clubbing. That's where it went wrong. Yeah, with with the when we got home at like 6 a.m. You tr kept trying to go home early. <gasps> yeah. I remember. Remember when there weren't so many Mexicans? And I'm terrified because Frank's one of those people who like, I never did f You peer pressured me up to the point I did them and then was like, you annoying f why did you do them? Okay, so we're going to do an integration course. An integration course in the Netherlands, you mean, oh, let's uh, drink a lot of beer, let's use some No! The legit integration course, we have 10 questions from the official quiz, and 10 questions. The slut away. <laughs> or I mean the slut away. <laughs> Still distracted. A fun note is that you need to require the official 76% out of 20 questions. So yeah. how many questions do you have to Answer so, correctly. But the, from what I've heard, these are from the actual integration. The thing, yeah. And you have to get 76% to be allowed to enter the country. So I'm basically doing it to come and live here. Yeah. You want to move here. Yeah. yeah that, that's the point because yeah. you're so, you feel so much at home here because of. But you have to get 100%. If I fail any questions, I have to deport myself to the Taliban. <laughs> naked. Why naked? I don't know. I Please. see why you needed the Patreon now. Yeah. I, I don't say this and hinge stuff and my stuff doesn't get monetized. I don't, I, maybe it's just because I bring a new side to you out. Who knows? Yeah, I think the side has turned on since January. Okay, so um, <laughs> let's just start with the, the requirements. And people, please do subscribe. I don't make content that's based on my looks because I'm not that pretty. So I need you to subscribe to my channel because that way is the only way. This is the way. This is the way. What's the other only way? Only? Yeah. And it was also fun because I said in the poll on Instagram, I said, does Indy need a raise? Because there's minimum wage now. 35,000 people voted. How many percent do you think people said, no, he doesn't need a raise? It doesn't look good. 51% said, no. No, he's okay. He doesn't need more money. Give him minimum. We're going to begin. Question number one. Do I have to get my driver's license again when I come to the Netherlands? Yes or no? What do you think, Miss Emily Black? I said no. I think it's no as well. Yeah, I, yeah, I think Netherlands drivers are kind of crazy. Like You drive on the wrong side of the road. You crashed my car. Fair point. I think no. <laughs> Yes. You're out already. Question two. Where does Queen Max Mark? I can't get back. I can't. I can't. Okay. I want to try one more time. One plus. Five ninety percent. Germany. That's a monkey. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that was a Dutch again. What's Queen Maxima? Queen is the queen of the Netherlands. She has another nationality. Where do you think she came from? Where do you think she... Maybe you want a second opinion. <laughs> okay, look, look at the, in the back of Queen Maxima. She's very pretty. She's a milf. And just to be fair, the Netherlands and the Germans... Where does Queen Maxima come from? What do you think, Emily? Argentina. Oh, that's true. Argentina. <laughs> God, okay. Max We go to question nice. three. What do you learn in Dutch language lessons? That's dumb as f 
I think also the Dutch <laughs> language. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Yeah. Question number four. Where do people collect medicines? Is it at the drugstore or is it at the pharmacy? Pharmacy. Oftewel, the apotheek. Oftewel, the apotheek. Yeah. Yeah. That's true, it's the pharmacy. But you, you can get a, dr a pharmacy in a drugstore. And do you know how I know this? Is because the first time that I came to Amsterdam, do you remember I had to... Oh, yeah, I was with you. Yeah, and I was sat there literally like with pneumonia, being like, give me the medicine. And, and you were like flirting with a girl. Oh, the the one at the bar, uh, for behind the desk. Yeah, and she was like, this would smell oh, so really good on you. Yeah, yeah. And, and you were like, yes, I think you so. And I bet you still wear it. That was good. It was hot though. Good. It was pretty. Question number five. Where can you register in the Netherlands if you are looking for work? I don't know if this seems harder in Dutch, but like in English, this is like far too simple. It's an employment agency. That's the whole point of an employment agency. You would say. What are you going to say? What, what is your way? An employment agency. If not, dumb. It is an employment agency. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I just want to try and trick you. Question number six. Where is the largest seaport? And you know Amsterdam lays by the canal. Of, of the well, or how is the canal called? The Ei. And by Rotterdam you have the Maas. Maas. The Maas. And Rotterdam is also Pam Bami naar beneden pleuren. Hey. And Rotterdam is the largest seaport. That's true. And also it's the largest seaport of Europe. Question number seven. Which major city was bombed in 1940? Okay, before we give the answer, if you look around in Amsterdam, you, you walked yesterday. Do you feel like, oh, there's some parts in the city that are very new in the center of Amsterdam? Yes, I do feel like that sometimes. Why? Because it was bombed in 1940. That's true. Yeah, I read a lot of history books. So. Oh. It's Rotterdam. The whole center of Rotterdam is bombed. Amsterdam is never bombed. That's why in the center of Amsterdam, there are no high buildings because everything is historic. You cannot build in the center of Amsterdam. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I had no idea that time he gave me the answer. That was on him. So you must think for yourself because he's not there. This is the, this is, this is the, this is the Inburgerings Cursus, what's it called again in English? The if official integration course. You must do it yourself. Don't listen to anyone else. You're telling me if I went into an official integration the exam and there was the guy sat here with his little glasses on he's like tell me this question and i wasn't like Hello. question number eight in which city is the government located in utrecht say it utrecht 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 utrecht, utrecht. utrecht. Of Den Haag. To us it's The Hague. Den Haag! You must actually even stop with The Hague. It sounds nicer. The Hague? The Hague. In the Hague! Shut up, Mimsy! Why do you think it's The Hague? That's where Martin Yule lives. I want to give a, a, a small story about Martin Yule. I will do it in Dutch. It's a point for you because it's The Hague. Yay. Lieve mensen. Toen Emily, the house tour video. Yeah. When Emily was living there, her landlord was Martin Yule. Here's a photo of him. He's very fat, a thick man. He was. Not quite a successful coach, but he coached Ajax, he coached Tottenham Hotspur. What are you thinking? Sh and he was making some money as a Dutch trainer. You don't see him around much. But Emily had contact with Martin Yol, and Martin Yol said to Emily, Show me to say it? Yeah. In quotations, what are you doing hanging around with that fing loser? <laughs> And it ging over mij. Martin Jol called me a fing loser. So I want to start a boycott. Yeah, Bring him sweet. to me. Martin Yule. Question number nine. How old do you have to be to vote? I'm gonna say 18. Why do you think 18? That's what it is in England. 18? I'm sticking with it. Yeah? yeah. You sure? Yeah. I think 16 is also reasonable. Because let's say you're wow. and you want to have with someone who doesn't want to. If the person is 16 or 18, does that make any difference? Yeah. Okay, nice. No, it's 18. Okay. No, it's 18. No, it's 18. Of course, okay. because... 16 is that, that's yeah those are children they, they, yeah. they cannot think no. uh, their, their, their brains aren't grown I think uh, even 18. 18 I think me compared to how I was at 18 is uh, interesting question number 10 where can a lot of work be found healthcare or agriculture healthcare I think so as well I think that's one correct healthcare it is very good <laughs> lovely people we hebben de doos gekregen en die we uiteindelijk aan het kijken gegeven. Kijk maar even mee hoe dat gegaan is. Nu gaan we even kijken of we iemand kunnen winnen die en geabonneerd is, want dan kunnen we gewoon zien. En of hij zijn Instagram heeft achtergelaten. Dus we gaan even scrollen. Emily, you can decide. Scroll down and pick one. 
comment. Mr. Joey. Mr. Joey. Dear what Frank, I would like to win the box. I've been recently single after seven years. I could use oh. some Emily love. Oh, well, Mr. Joey, it's your time because Emily is going to give you some love. <sighs> oh, God. Mr. Joey, I can't wait till you get this. <laughs> Watch me spell it wrong. That's good. Sending my love to your singleness. <laughs> Mr. Joey, life sucks, but Emily sucks harder. No, we'll put and it Frank. in the box. Okay. We'll put it in the box. Thank you very much, Joey. Till next time. Love you, Joey. Welcome back. There we go to the second round of the video. Unofficial integration. A specific part of Vlaardingen. Vlaardingen, that's where I come from. That's nearby Rotterdam. And this is... Can I move in with Frankie? Yes. Nice. Yeah. So this is like your personal quiz for me to say, yeah. can you come and stay with me? And yeah. That's a point. I've never stayed with you. Every time I come over, I have to stay in these like big, nice hotels and like, oh, I have like everyone waiting on me. It's, it's so annoying because every time you come over, you get to stay mine. No, I cannot afford a... Uh... Great success. Yeah, but no, but I can come to and say yours. Yeah. Oh, well, you've never you've never offered that. Before. No, 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 oh. because uh, we're building uh, something uh, in the, the front door. Um, I can help build. Uh, but we'll see after yeah, this. Okay, okay. Okay, that sounds good. Question number one. Oh, Jesus Christ! Which of these ex the voice of Holland coaches has not been cancelled? Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. So these four are all. Cancelled. The one is a pedophile. The one hit his wife. The one slept with multiple girls and paid them to have sex with him. And there are all different kinds of people who did terrible and terrible things to the missus all over the country. Which one looks the most harmless? None of them. No, they all look wrong. And I would say, so I know that this guy's been done. Ali Buali. I know he's he's been cancelled. Okay, so Ali Buali and Lil Kleine, those two have been cancelled. Yeah. We remain two. Marco Borsato or Guus Mills. And it's just which one looks more harmful. I'm not gonna have to eeny, meeny, miny, moe. Oh, out him. He has not been cancelled, I'm sorry. Aww. It's him. Ah, oh, yes! How good am I? No. It, it, that's what I said. Oh, oh for okay. the cancel. Ah, this is a little bit sus. Okay, That's but I will go said. with you. This is a point for you. Woo! This is good because he he sit at the children at his own barbecue. He was doing the, the Voice of Holland Kids Edition and also invited a lot of people to his barbecue. And then he <laughs> Jimmy Savile there. Jimmy. So we go to question number 12. Sort these beers in price. Okay, this is an interesting one. You have Heineken. You know Heineken, right? Yeah. Then you have Bavaria. It's a little bit more of the south. Then you have Holger. I don't know Holger. And you have to do right Hertog Jan. Okay, I am going to say... You start with as the cheapest. Yeah. Okay. Heineken. Bavaria. It's, do whatever you feel like. I don't drink beer. Yeah, it's difficult, I know, but... What what, what do you think to this? Holger, Heineken, Bavaria, Hertog Jan. I think Holger, I don't know Holger very well, but I think that's the cheapest. I think then Hertog Jan, then Bavaria. Yeah, Holger, Hertog Jan, Bavaria, Heineken. I think Heineken is the most expensive. If I get it right and you get it wrong... I'll deport myself naked to the Taliban. Oh, Jesus Christ, Hertog Jan is the most expensive. I got it more right than you. Yeah. It was just these two slots around. Oh my God. How do I get beer prices more right than you? How is this possible? Because Heineken... You got it so wrong. No, you didn't. You just got this one, which makes you second. But that's still bad. I think I still get a point for that. No. Ooh. Ooh. Which of these Dutch people does not do... <laughs> Holy that looks like Bella Thorne. The third one? Yeah. Oh, that's uh, Fabiola. Like. Okay, you have Rumei oh, van Zeeland. You have Jim Buckham, Fabiola Volkers, and Ferry Dudens. Which person looks the most nice? Like the, the safest, the, the, the most cute, the harmless type. Which people is it definitely not? You think the guy on the right? Yeah. Ferry Dudens? Yeah. It is Jim Buckham. The second one. He did only fans because he's gay and he made money and just also addicted to and stuff. Okay, he I was, thought he um, looked he looks more like sweet gay and he looks more like f boy. That's true, but but he is the safe one. Are you f wrong? No, in this line. Wrong and I mean wrong because in the spectrum of the people in the in the four people who's the one who's not for the wrong in the in the Okay. You have to get everything right now. What's or I'm out. Oh, you cannot live together. What is a part of horse 
in student language. First year student. Put it in. Do it. Are you gonna write it down? No, I'm. I don't wanna waste paper. I'm going first year student. <laughs> I was gonna say that next. <laughs> Okay, we're doing, we're doing it again, we're doing it again. Question number 14. What is a part of horse I have such language? A is it a feeling. mixed thing? I have a Our feeling. Our first year student. I know if I was in uni, I'd want some horse <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but you have to get it right. Okay. Whoa! Apfel corn. Question number 15. Match the crime with the professional Dutch footballer. Let's just start on the left. Ulrich van Gobbel. What do you think that he could have done? Is Ulrich van Gobbel a guy who sold illegal fireworks? I'm gonna say lease cars. He looks like the type who tried to sell me a car. Patrick Kluivert, what did he do? I'm gonna say homicide. Okay, the homicide, okay. Theo Lucius is a legend. What did he do, selling illegal fireworks? Or is he a legend because he smuggled when I tell you, he does look like the homicide type. And that smile looks like the thumbnail what? that you have of me. <laughs> I'm going to say fireworks. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, Quincy Promes did You saw that one because that's a news art article. These are my final answers. So, Ulrich van Gobbel, embezzling lease cars. The second one is homicide. The third one is fireworks. And the last one, Quincy Promes. Yeah. How much? 50 million pounds worth. How much? 50 million pounds. 50 million pounds. Oh there's my a, god. A, it is good, right? You did it good. One, I did really good, but two, every now and then, ugh, the thought of just being like, f only f I'm gonna smuggle. Because 50 million? Sorry? It's going very well. You need to finish the last five questions. Which of these Dutch people is not a Priscilla Hendricks, Yvonne Meulendijk, Taylor Sands, or Linda de Mol. Can I give two options? Uh huh. Because there's only two that look like mums. Yeah, it's one of those. It's one of those. Because both of these ones, they're obviously taken from shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Make a choice. Which one is not an actress of the adult content? All right, I'm gonna say Linda, just because this is still like a provocatively taken picture, and she's got more makeup on. That's true. Is Linda. Oh, good. Very well done. Thank you. You just want me to live in you, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Why is there so many? You said you're like, this is going to be like some questions. It's football or who's the oh. star or who's the Like. Pretty good summary. Which player did not score in the legendary match against Spain in 2000? 14. Was that Virgil van Dijk? Was that Robin van Persie, Arjen Robben or Stefan de Free? I was 14. How do you how do you expect me to know? Four, 14, four. Do you see four somewhere? 2014. Huh? Do you see four somewhere else? Yeah, four somewhere else. Which can it be? Stefan de Vrij. I said to you, look at where is the four? Where is the four? Oh sorry, you I thought you meant number four. I thought Van Dyke scored all the time. In 2014, that is 10 years ago. I was 14. I'm going to guess years. Van Dyke. Is that correct? Is it? Is it Van Dyke? It's correct. Thank you very much. Then we go to the final three questions. Oh, question number 18. What is the prize of the best Dutch drinking game? Good fluencers, extreme good. Name the prize with a $5 range, euro range. Is, is, that, is that really cheap? Is it? Oh my God, no, the range. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Is it? 40. No, it's way cheaper than that. 44, 69. Go now to the website, www.frankslotter.nl. Woo! You can order it right now or just go to beneath the video. You will see good answers. Guess how much my only is for the $5 price range. I'm going to give you a clue. It's a lot cheaper than 49. It amazes me how you can make this situation to promote your own. <laughs> But you also always have a 50% discount. I do have a very large discount. 28. So wrong, Frank. It is so much cheaper than that. You can afford it with nothing. It's actually less than a Mackie's. How much is it? It's like $12, which is like a tenner. What is it? $18.99. No, it's not. Don't do that to me. It's like $12. I think that's actually very reasonable for such a good game. Thank you for making that and enlightening my day, Frank. I also hear you have a new game coming out. Is this correct? Guess the price of that game. It is so 
good. It must be oh, 90 euros. No, it's what? way cheaper than that. No way. It's 85.99. Yeah. No, no, no. Oh my god. <laughs> Which of these ex-footballers oh. has not participated in a gambling commercial? Why are they all bold apart from Shaq Zwart? This guy keeps coming up. Yeah, the second one. One of the best Dutch strikers ever. Don't even have to look. Of course you knew that one. 15 points to Sniffendor. <laughs> Final question. If you answer this question correctly. Then I can move into your house. And we can go clubbing tomorrow and have some chefs. Oh my God. Oh These cancelled Dutch people has been uncancelled. The last... Mm. No one has been uncancelled. I'm gonna shoot Indy's in his, in his fucking mouth. Indy! Yeah, I come in here! Yeah, this is not my opinion. <laughs> if you go to the next slide... Oh, okay, I know I know what you're going to say. Okay, okay. What do you think? I told you just earlier on, on the left, that's a oh. He yeah. touched little kids. Yeah, you can't get uncancelled from that. Okay, then on to the right. He put his wife's door over the wife's head between the door and just slammed it. I don't think you can get uncancelled for that either. Then we have Ali. He paid a lot of people to have him and just oh, please when you give you 50 euros can you please give me head and stuff oh that didn't uh, went well and he uh, also has a wife and children but uh, i don't know what happened there the last guy did oh the last one oh this is also interesting when he was 23 or something talked to girls who were 15 14 13 send pictures of your boobs do it now and then the girls say oh please i don't want to i no don't feel way. good with it and then oh you pussy you send me uh, send me a photo now did that a lot and uh, then he got cancelled oh so yeah it's between the last two. Oh. oh maybe it is also an option that no one got uncancelled if i say none of them the first one no he's he's staying the second one very cancelled is it are they, these are still the voice actors those three no the, 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 the whole the whole show got cancelled it started with marco and then it was like oh he did something wrong and then there was the next jury guy and then he did also something that was the next everyone got cancelled on the show everyone did something very very naughty i thought dutch people meant to be like most normal but people with money do uh, strange things <laughs> <laughs> and then you have Ali having oh. contestants. And then we have Kai van der Rey. And I will tell you right now, Kai van der Rey is cancelled. He's okay. never coming. Never coming. He oh. sold his YouTube channel, who had like 300,000 subscribers or something. Oh, I should have bought that. Just been like, hey, it's it's not a fucking anymore. It's just going with great. <laughs> <laughs> that had just cheered everyone right up. I'm gonna say out of. No, no. If, if none of them's an option, I'm going to say none of them. If I have to choose one... What are you going to say? None or one? You want to live in the Netherlands or none. not? None. I'm going for none. We're going for none. Can you move to the Netherlands? That's the one question. I'm not sure if there I want to live here, if there's that many people that are weird. Out of 17 million, four are very strange. How? How? How did that even... How? 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 Wow. You little... R swipe. You're trying to. Oh, this is a little client on the Dutch radio. Uh... Oh, so he hasn't been uncancelled. It's just some people still listen to his music now. In the music world, the radio really decides a lot of uh, how much you are cancelled. Really? So, and a lot of those radio stations are from the public omroep, so the government. Government funds. That's awful. Shame on you, Dutch government. I don't want yeah, to be in maybe, the country uh, maybe anyway. Yeah, maybe no client should have been cancelled, but I'll let you off the hook. Welcome to the Netherlands. <gasps> Thanks! Yay! Well done. Yay! Thank uh, you very much. And tomorrow we go clubbing. Yeah. Looking forward to it or not? Terrified. It's Terrified. okay, it's okay. Dear people, thank you very much for watching. We have soon much more content with the one and only Miss Emily Black. See you next time. Till next video. Bye. 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 <laughs>